special guest. Thanks, Bev. Yes, with me is uh, Sam Fleming uh, representing Gippsland Power in the uh, footy kick. How did you go? How far did you kick it? Uh, 51 the first one and the second one stuffed a bit, 48. Not a bad coach. It is just pretty good for footy. Yeah, it had a bit of a wing going this way. So what year are you in? 10. Which school? Uh, Mafra Secondary. Mafra. And a uh, yeah. bit of two and a there with the uh, leagues, but it's all yeah. sorted out. Yeah, it's all right now. Yeah. An up and cover, Sam Fleming, the winner of the footy kick. Phil, neither and uh, Rob, no injuries nil on either side. Uh, though I do understand that Carlton are going to try and expose David Teague by kicking the ball long and deep into the forward line. That's a tackle they're going to use, probably with Adam White. All right, thanks very much, Ross. It's the Roos by 13 points, but the Blues have first crack at it in the third quarter. Or Teague could have given away a free kick there as White leaned back into him. Probably good umpiring in the end. And the Roos can clear here. And it's Liam Collins who just bounces it out towards the dugout there and Chatfield have scored today over the lines yes uh, hello to everyone the crowd not a bad crowd in the Blues and uh, the Roos uh, senior players from both teams are here Dennis Pagan's here yes he is he might have a chat with Roscoe at three quarter time if Ross can find him down there and um, all the players yep what a remarkable record Dennis Pagan has I think this is the first time in probably about 20 years that a team he has coached has not made the final so a remarkable statistic but it'd be interested to see how the Roos progress in this final series and so far they're they're doing the job okay well that's deliberate out of bounds but won't be paid well interesting Ross's uh, observation there about Carlton kicking the ball long well we made the point you know if there can be a bit of space that goes a bit high T could be put under a bit more pressure with White and again, he's not a bad player, and he's pretty good overhead, so uh, interesting move that jacket team. Working it forward, McLaren with his problems, the Blues pressing hard again, Spawn involved, and that's a Carlton free kick. And uh, is it going to Dooring? Will be the touch. He's got a couple of options out here wide, Merrington's one of them. He can go over the top if he's quick as well, no, they've, they've covered Spawn. Yeah, he's a big kick, Rob. A very athletic player. Give him a slight breeze. He will just about hit the line, I reckon. If he gets good purchase on it, I'll put it just over the top of the goalie's head. So from right on 50 metres, Merrington, big kick, needs to bend back to the left. And he's just missed. Gee, it's amazing, you know, Merrington is, what, six foot three and a half. He is the ruckman today in Carlton's... Uh, go-to man in, in the air and Trudor Fetis is the same size as him and he's a, he's a midfielder in the AFL it's extraordinary the matchup problems that Trudor Fetis presents to everyone when he's on them, which he is at the moment anyway that's another story, McLaren did it well up towards the wing but uh, the Blues have won themselves a free kick, During takes the advantage, spears the pass in but T got in the way and the emerging youngster kicks out wide here towards his teammate in Andrew Lowcock. So Lowcock up towards the wing to McLaren. He wants to link up over the top. Just delayed it enough to uh, allow Lascock to get away from Culbert. And Lascock wants to go all the way here. In towards the square. Oh, that was a good last minute spoil. Well played, the Blues. Kicked out wide here towards During. He'll try and reel around from Petri, which he does. Inboard passes okay to Cranick. Now they can build Carlton. Rice has it, and the veteran towards the 50. Massey just got away from Teague. Bit stronger, Chris Massey. Bit more developed and a couple more years in the gym, in the program. Just worked Teague underneath him there. So again, Carlton controlling the play for long periods, but not being able to score. Pretty important kick this for, for Massey and the Blues. Oh, he's just in, trying to gain some distance. He, uh, I don't think that was Teague he actually put out, Rob. I, I think it was, uh, was it Collins? Liam Collins, right at the top of right there. Yeah, number 50, but uh, was it? I, I'm not sure, maybe I was wrong there. I, did, did, I just thought it was, but anyway. Not long. Michael right, Lascock, but the goal would have been handy, wouldn't it? Because they uh, need to bang one through. Harris up high with the score. Then tackle on Culper, two players hard of the ball. Cooper, a great game so far. Three goals to him. 
Raskoff. Good spotting to Lokov. And Jones takes the mark. Maybe Lokov from Myrtleford originally. Uni Blues. Top up player. One of seven for the Kangaroos. Yeah. <laughs> no, Phil. This will hurt the Blues. They bring this goal. They've had the ball up inside their 50. Yeah. South Australian Jones. Compared to go then over to Sturt. And uh, he's missed it. No one so far in this term can score a major. The Murray Kangaroos can see the lead there. Two goals and not a high scoring game here at Port. Conditions very good. So it's Pickering for the Blues to Merrington. Just got underneath it. Petri's good burn. Drew Petri. Probing kick inside 50. No one there for the marking contest. Sophie arrives front in the square, kicks the goal. He's a little low wired. Joel Sophie. You know, all those uh, seven top ups. They're pretty smooth, really, the Kangaroos, aren't they? They've had a flat spot in recent times, but um, and we know they've had players out. And maybe with a full side, they could do some damage. I don't, know, I don't know whether they're really up to the others, but I know Robbie think they're a bit of a chance. They did look pretty clean today. Carlton, by contrast, have got a few little issues in terms of the lineup. They're still struggling to get that to get that forward half organised. Uh, Petri and Merrington, nil all there. Culpit pounces on it. Line ball, Chaffee was stalled on the contest. Oh, out on the fall from Liam Collins, not quite, yes it is on the fall. That's where White, and you see White, yeah. if the ball goes high, that's where he's a danger. Of course, with... That's their tactics. Here's a little like Keith chipping Chatfield. Now it's Kranich. Now, he thought about going in short, but Backwell thought better of it. The loss of Beasley, of course, has thrown them out a bit. Now, it was flu, wasn't it, Roscoe, did you yeah, say? Yeah, the virus, yes, we saw the highlights at halftime to marks of the year, taking a beautiful mark here. Yeah forward still in the game Carlton they want to think they've put their best foot forward yet we're gonna to have to put it forward pretty soon but I still get the sense that they're in with a chance and if he kicks yes. that goal which I think he has Roscoe yeah. a goal very nice Sam Kramich and brings him back within touch back to two goals well they haven't been playing well uh, this third quarter if they get themselves a bit close before three-quarter time it'll be very very well they're not going to be far out of it anyway but I just get the feeling that they're likely to, to just find something. Still tricky for Ross Lyon, the coach. He's got the big fella pick, but off the ground now. He was trying him in the ruck to release Merrington to the forward half. Well, it's a bit of an ebb and a flow game, this one. A few blokes are going to have to produce some big things, though, for Carlton, you would think. Not quite as even as the Kangaroos. Structurally smaller, but they're well drilled and determined bunch. Gee, good tackle on Harris from Culpert, just allowed them some time. Can they use it? May emerge with the footy here, back hook a little, quick finds Dooring. Balanced on his left boot. Good pass, and good mark to transform. So Merrington may be the target here, they won't get that far. Kicking towards the pocket T after the slip from White. So, Teague standing up there, but White's a dangerous opponent. 12 points, the advantage for the Kangaroos, and Dylan Smith has it on the halfback flank. Rice, Durring, Cranage, bad hand pass, but they're still alive, the Blues. Is that Fleming? Oh, look at this. Well, I'll get another one here, Massey. Has had it a couple of times down there since moving forward, and uh, he's finding some space. Pretty good pass. Yeah, well, Fleming got himself out of the fix, Rob, and made the break. And drove it long. The right-on cue is Phil Cleary.
told us that in the Carlton were done with Ted, the kick two in a row is back to a goal the difference. Yeah, well, there's no question about it. They're well and truly in the game. And could be they could fire up. You know, they started to get a smell of it in the last quarter. I mean, in terms of, you just wonder how passionate the game has been. But it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a wrestle here as both sides trying to work their lineups and get the best out of their players. And but this side still, Carlton has got something. They haven't played particularly well in the reckon. Uh, is it time for the Roos to bounce back? Merrington nicely out of the top of the cup, but again, he clears it from the square. Bankles had a good half. Good shepherd. Would have been. And free game to Bankle. Pull off the ball without it. Now, will there be a high one? Uh, just a short in. Oh, just over the head of Derry. Smith. Oh, bounce. Didn't suit. And now, by what's he going to do? I thought he was going to pin Nelson. Nothing worse is there, Ross and Rob, than a bloke gets a ball just outside 50, kicks a short pass and it doesn't hit the target. Yeah. It is so excruciating, that, to watch. Umpire Graham thought about the high tackle. And why to be penalised and holding. And in that contest, standing next to Drew Petri, he tried to have uh, muscle it. He stood back and had a run, maybe. Petri to the goss stand, he's got Sophie on a lead. Little one to the solar plexus from Jacket Team. Last cop. Teague's running up for defence. Grabbed over the shoulder by Pickering. I'm fine. Let's go. Oh, 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 he's missed. Oh, 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 missed him, Phil. Coming through like a train. It might have been Nelson hands on oh, Merrington. Hands on his left of screen. Or Cranich, was it? Yeah, anyway, here it is. Might have been. It Cranich. Oh, yeah. yeah. But see, in the end, I don't see why that's not holding the ball. I mean, at what point he should have gotten rid of the ball? He was yeah. in a number of contests. Yeah, you can hand pass when you're pirouetting, Phil. Well, well exactly, <laughs> Ross. I mean, Newton, you right, would it? Yes. What's your ask out last night? Here's Ross. Oh! Modlock, he's been paid. Didn't think he really had a lot of it. He's been penalised. <laughs> well, you don't know. Here's Ford. Into space. Oh. Chatfield's trying to work it out. He squirts it out. Smith ran the ground. Oh, umpire! This one, the fact that kicks in will be 50. Gee, I don't agree with that decision. The players had a month to get rid of the football. And I think the ball was knocked out of his hat. Well, he was tackled. I reckon the Carlton players hand might have knocked the ball out. That's not the reason for the 50. They kicked it on, which was pretty stupid. Have a look at this. It's a big grab. Might look. What's a free kick for? Because he put his hands in his back. I mean, you're able to do that these days. They don't penalise you for that anymore. Funny one. Anyway, goes to the Bruce advantage and Lane gets the uh, ball dropping short. A few times that's happened. Yet to kick a goal. possession for Adam Lang. 63 points they were beaten by the Kang uh, by the Werribee last week. But um, that's a big margin in any game of football but with the senior players back they were to get through. Hilton, McLaren, Motlock, Petri, Spall and Teague in from last week. Lang gets his first. Drop that. Well, you know, 50 metre penalty up the other end was costly, had possession. You see how easy it is to turn the ball over. It's a tight old contest, this one, really. It doesn't look like any side would really get a substantial advantage. Lera here and there costing sides, one or the other side. Merrington organising his players in the midfield there. been a bit like that all day where Carlton get close and the Roos uh, just find a goal when they have to. The Roos will keep on pressing. McLaren has it out right here for the Kangaroos. Wants to get back on the right. Uses his pace and then works the switch out towards Daniel Motlock. Go over the top to Sophie. Ignores him. Now he wants the pass or he's given up. 
and Doring, who been one of the Blues' best players today, will again be pressing for AFL senior selection, you would think. I was just going to say, he's a beautiful left foot, and what did he do with it, Rob? He just threw it up in the air like confetti at a wedding. And what lock there on the screen is lucky that the ball did go over the line and out of bounds because attempting to bring the ball back in, he did, he did throw it, tapped it with the one arm, which you're not allowed to do. So that'll be a kangaroo's free kick, and not without a chance from 55 is Corey Jones, who is a beautiful, probing left foot kick. We expect better stats than that to half time for the young man. You'd be expecting him to get it at least 20 to 25 times a game. So he may be playing in the in the graveyard half forward flank for a while. Won't be a goal. It's in the danger area though. During to make amends. Oh dear, that's a fumble, and they'll probably take the point in the end. Dear, oh dear, who was that? Dowling rushed it through. A bit of a fumble. And you see, well, so much for the Kangaroos. 3 4 5 or whatever three, it was. 3 4 4. I remember that much. Smith over the top. Fumble. That's no, tight. No space to work in. I don't think they could remember because I saw a few of them there actually saying that the, the right decision was a 3 4 4 or 3 4 6. I was reading his lips and it ended up with not much happening. Do you reckon it's as effective as long bombs to snake? You know, for Rass's <laughs> no, I like motive from the 70s? Long bombs to snakes are beautiful. Super. And very simple. So you put ballers. Well, let's not go there. During. Ooh, Ooh. had a moment. Culpit from Merrington. Deliberate. Right around by, I think, of that. That's it. So That's I suppose right. you would have shed a few tears watching something in the air the other night when the fellow was run over by the tractor. It was a bit early for me. I'm still at work, Phil. Don't you, don't you have a TV in the office out at Monash? You know, they got struggling out there, aren't they? Yeah. All universities, Phil. Obviously not where Phil uh, does a bit of work. <laughs> no, <that's, laughs> I won't go there. Quick kick by Petri, and uh, he misses. Petri, Phil, North Ballarat, and uh, drafted yeah, the when... Uh, and so, uh, what's the other fellow left when we went to Sandy? It's Melbourne's list. Oh, the youngster. Yeah. Anyway, so they lost those two, and Peter Sunwell came out of retirement to fill in the ruck. So it was a He's retired. Now, Peter, so Jolly, Darren Jolly, that's right. Thank you. Good Rob. call. Good get. Good get, Rob. You on the widescreen out at La Trobe, uh, <laughs> Phil? On the, the, the big digital no, TVs out there? The, no. Okay. During goes to the boundary line. Smith, the well-known lead. Ivani. Cooper to Petri. He's got a push in the back. Cooper. There it is. Come on, boys, shake it up. Let's put some oomph into this game. Strong lead by McLaren, but deep into the pocket, ignored. Cooper goes back to Lascott. Hunts it to the square. Where's there a mark? Oh, almost by Jones. Very like he, well, he fell backwards, didn't isn't he? Isn't it amazing? I was just going to say the same thing, and we were spontaneous response. Between the camera angle and the glint of light off the phone, Sean. The big jump. Yeah, the big jump. That'd be a good interchange, isn't it? A good top up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Smith, great ruck work. They can kick a goal here, and they have. Motlop. Well, wonderful ruck work there from Lindsay Smith. You don't often see that. She's athletic, isn't he? He just seemed to float in the air, and he picked out Motlop with a great tap. And now the Roos have established just about the game's biggest break. Yes, 19 we'll, points, Phil. Yes, we'll see this with. Now, look at Pickford there. He is outplayed there in that ruck contest, and the Carlton boys not covering that. It's one of the things you'd go through when you're coaching, Rob, so often. The things that terrified you was throw-ins in the forward pocket, you know, and you wanted to cover all of those and not let an easy goal get kicked in the end. Motlock made it look easy. Oh, beautifully stolen. The Blues. Puts it away from Merrington, having us run up in attack. It was Pickford Rucks. Good play, Merrington. Good skill to hook it back into the pocket. Oh, but 
too close to the line for a forward he scoring really, opportunity. He really needs to take those marks, Roscoe, doesn't he, to be a real senior player. You know, when he's down there, he's not against a, well, not a real tall, but he got the, the sit there, and he just didn't have the hands right. Well, Joel White will, uh, will, uh, will change players. We're running against Barrington, who won it easily, but Smith, oh, clashed into him on Barrington, working hard, he got the hand pass out, doing a lot of work. Dering spilled it as he took his eye off it. Pratt tried to charge his way through. Dering had the stronger grasp of the ball. He doesn't get much out of his... He, he's an athletic player, Merrington, but he doesn't use the body to give himself any advantage. He just generally goes at it free. He's a free-flowing sort of player. Got plenty of class about him. Squirts it towards uh, Derling, and then Derling. Good. Short kick, OK. Oh, Fleming. Now it's Campbell. He's not sure what to do. Looking to feed it off. Merrington. The high options here on the out now. Not room for White to take a run on the link. There's a lead from Sinnott. Split. And Sinnott is on a lead. King misses him. Joel White kicks to space. Cooper and Pickering. Pickering did well. Cooper Harris in well. The numbers. Harding's got pace. He's taken out of by Rice. Good play. Sophie tackles Sterling. Cooper follows up. Well, how do you see that one out by Let's it go. Good contest on the outer wing. Dangerous tackle in terms of almost going to give away a free kick, wasn't it? Now, you, you know, blokes should know that. When you run a bloke down, you've got to turn him over as you grab him. You've got to spin him back. If you just put your body weight straight into his back, you run the risk of a free kick against you. So Carlton trailing by 19 points now, and uh, very tough for the Roos. Uh, sorry, tough for the Blues from here as we approach 22 minutes into the third quarter. See how Pickford goes here in this rough contest. Let's have a look at him. Trying to find the body. Right. Well, he was uh, jumped over by two. I think it's Joel White. He's a big fellow for Garth now. Smith just bends it back in towards full forward. Dangerous here for Durring. Good hand pass though. Important contest this one. Two on two battle on the wing. Spawn loses it to Spawn. Harding goes back to Spawn. Just got a bad bounce at the last moment there. Clark working hard for the Blues and carrying it over with Liam Collins. Sting's just got out of it in this third quarter. It's a, a bit of a grinding match. Big packs of players uh, surrounding the ball constantly. Matt Visto is handy for McLaren. Allows him some space. Time to use his uh, quickness. Good kick as he worked it towards Lee Harding. Open forward line for Harding. Instead, he just chips it over the top where he's got David Teague. And Teague now, two kicks from home. They're all lining up for him. Decides to go towards full forward. Trying to take the mark off the ground. Improvisation out of bounds on the fall from the hard running Harding again. Yes, uh, it was 20 points at one stage. The lead for the Kangaroos in the first quarter, 19 in the second, and 19 uh, again. So uh, each time the Blues have hit back to uh, get within a goal or level it, you get the feeling. Big, the ascendancy. Watson doing good job on Petrie, isn't he? Yes. Derling kicks through Merrington's hand. Culpert puts body shepherding to allow Campbell in, but he then stood aside. Culpert, here's the one on they want. See? Well done. Did well. well. Couldn't allow White to jump at it. Careful not to give away the free. Good play by White. Opens up Clark over the top. Nelson. Way to kick many goals. Regular defender. So they hang in, and they're back within 13 points. That's a fascinating little cameo, that one. Uh, Teague on White there, and you saw it, uh, the, the ability of the boat when he can find the body. But as it turned out, the ball spins all over the place. Succession of hard yakka until Nelson's able to... There's uh, White, that's good play. 
I think Sinnott wasn't it in there that flicking it over the top. Initially, was it Aaron Clark? Is Sinnott in amongst that too? No, it just looked like him. Aaron Clark. So, Hart Yakka, but 13 points in it. Just keep hanging in there. Exactly, Phil. They will not go away to the Blues. And it wouldn't surprise if they got the next goal as well to get it back. They've just been a bit slack. They've given away some bad free kicks. Gee, Sophie's a little live one. That was good. Clean play to Corey Jones. Very short. During working hard to chop it off. Branage back there for the Blues. 25 minutes gone. Now I might be able to set something up here. Doing inboard hand pass is okay. It's kicked towards Massey with the late flyer. Oh, great the back. Can bend it around to Merrington off back wall. They both got a bad bounce and then they got a good one. Merrington just juggles it. Culpit, G works hard. Culpit, oh, back oh, wall. Deserves a goal. Oh, Steph the Blues. Deserve better. Look at beautiful the way Culpit lined that up. He didn't use his left hand. You notice he put the ball out with his right. He was able to turn the body, which players do. Yes, here it is. Look at that. That's beautiful play. And he waits till the little bloke Backwell's got in front of him, so he's got no one to go past. And he just hits the post. Player and the kicker in it. Hilton, who could have run on. Chose not to. Back into the square, another semi kick in. Pratt. Oh, bringing this AFL keepings off football down here to Port Ross. Oh, very wide to Stevens. Puts it out in front of Jones. Cranage has to work hard. Jones making his presence felt. Cross out for Deepin Morell sitting on the bench for the Kangaroos. You'll see the chairman of selectors or a player. Smith. <laughs> yeah, he's a player. He's a pretty good half forward. Yeah. Here's White. Started on the bench. And here's opportunity. Well, Cooper. Well, we've seen him kick three straight. He's pretty, pretty handy. So, a couple of extra meals a day, and you never know, he might be an AFL footballer this late. Maybe you have to give those biceps a bit of a pump up. He's got a smile yeah. as he kicks for yeah, goal. Very, it's it's King Valley like. attitude to life. Just line him up and put it through. <laughs> like Cut that. Back. Four straight, Stuart Cooper. Steve. Oh. <laughs> The laconic boy from the bush, Roscoe. It's all so easy. It is, and uh, if you just, as we just checked the uh, numbers, he's had 13. Uh, this is his 14th game. Isn't that beautiful? That in the record you just put King Valley. Like you know, it's not like you don't put a town no. or anything. Well, the King Valley Footy Club, I suppose. What? Oh, what did I, is that what they mean? Yeah. yeah, I think so. I don't know. I was just saying the King Valley. You know, <laughs> the King Valley. Oh, okay. As you know. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone does talk about the King Valley. Uh, like right. the, the North East. Yeah, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. It's rather yeah. nice. Well, there's two of them there, of course, on the list, but not quite. No, not quite. Well, uh, it was an important goal for them again. They just, again, get that little breathing space, and then the Blues will predictably come back at them again. See, Sophie works hard. Uh, he might be another one. Gee, the, the Rizmo have found a few from up the King Valley way, and so the experiment would have been successful if they do. What they uh, went into the alignment for, and uh, who admire their foresight, I suppose. But Deering, towards wing and half forward, the fumble from Clark just about spoiled a chance. He doesn't make much of an effort to get rid of it. Umpire rules a stalemate, and then a bounce. I think that's holding the ball. I don't think there's any, any real effort by Spall to knock that ball out. So it'll be Merrington versus White. Sophie, one hand pass. And have they kept it in yet? This is Andrew Lowcock, number 57, a top up player for the Roos. And you played footy with his father, right? I did, yes, at Monash. University, Monash Blues, Monash Whites. He was obviously a lot older than you. <laughs> yes. So, Lokon kicking towards uh, the 50. What's in, uh, what was the old man like as a player? Jeff. Yeah, he was at the uh, 
stature of economic students and uh, sort of a half key forward uh, for the Blues. Jeff. Just what year? Up. What years? Oh, I don't want to get into that. Early 70s. Early 70s, yeah. That's when you played on that muddy about yeah, that. Oh, it was place, beautiful, Phil. They drained it. Now, now like the Sheen Reserve. Yeah. Coburg. Still the one that gets changed. <laughs> we were poor out in COVID. Oh, yeah. It was on some housing commission. You don't think we could spend money on drainage? Unlike like you silver tails out at Monash with plenty of federal funding. Do you march in the moratorium? <laughs> Marches, Ross? No, I didn't actually march. No. 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 He's in the front. No. He oh. stood on the side. <laughs> young I was in the draft. <laughs> <laughs> the last draft. Coming off the bench. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Close like it to a player draft. Here's Daring. The Blues try to get one back. Trailing by three goals. Nelson high ball. Spall coming. Massey second grab. No. At 18 points the margin, yes, the siren goes again, just to make sure. Is that 50 metre penalty? <laughs> no, no. It was 14 points at quarter time, 13 points at half time to the Roos, and now they lead by 18. And, Phil, it looks like they've just got the ascendancy, but you never know. They haven't put them away, have they? No, that's, a, that's exactly it, Ross. You know, the game hasn't reached great heights, has it? You know, it's been all right football. The Kangaroos looked a bit cleaner. They've had some good young players, Rob. You've made mention of those boys from the King... Well, the boy, in particular, uh, our man Cooper from King Valley. He's been great with three great, tremendous goals. That last one right off the boundary line. Easy and laconic as you like. But um, I still think the Blues are in with a chance. What a beautiful setting it is down here at Tiak Oval. People here going out onto the ground. Rob, you can go and listen to the coaches and hear what they've got to say and find out about zone defences and all the mathematical equations associated with football. But look, it's been all right as a game. I, I still think she's going to be a tight one. I think Carlton will make a bit of a rush. Still a bit of a struggle for them inside 50. Nevertheless... The game's still up for grabs. Certainly up for grabs. Three goals to Carlton, four to the Kangaroos. You always think maybe they'll just ping one and, and, and snuff it out, uh, snuff Carlton's hopes. But we'll have a look at those goal kickers. And, uh, yes, pretty lean on the Carlton side. Cooper with four goals. Terrific. And Motlo, uh, Motlop uh, is the other one. Well, he's, he's been all right, but he probably could have done better. Anyway, I still reckon she'll be tight. Okay, 18 points, the, the Ruse. It's a handy lead at three-quarter time. When we